Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, we're going to take a look at the Primary Monarch. Alpha King is a 6.66% Pale Ale from Three Floyds Brewing Company in Munster, Indiana. When I reviewed Gumball Head from Three Floyds Brewing Company, I mentioned that sometime in August we'd start to see more of their beer hitting shelves here in Michigan. Well, guess what? August is here. It's like right in the middle of it. We're right in the thick of it. And I've been seeing Three Floyds pop popping up everywhere. Grocery stores, bottle shops, every place. I've reviewed uh, Zombie Dust and Gumball Head, as I mentioned earlier. But they've also dropped Robert the Bruce, Space Station Middle Finger, Barbarian Haze, and Laser Snake here on shelves. Basically all their year-round beers are here, the gang's all here. But today I'm going to be taking a look at Alpha King, which I consider probably to be uh, one of my favorites from Three Floyds, along with the aforementioned Zombie Dust. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass, but first I'd like to thank my executive producers Brian Kramer and David Jeffries for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, you know, just help out the channel or maybe even just buy me a beer. Take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks that are available only to my patrons. Again, let's take a look at the label. So if we look at, we'll start at the bottle cap. It has kind of that peppermint swirl on the top. It says three Floyds, FFF. It's not normal is their slogan on the front of this Alpha King. So if we start from the top, it says Alpha King, three Floyds Pale Ale. It's this kind of gold foil label or foil lettering from gold to red on the bottom it's got this kind of samurai warrior here with his hair just going crazy uh his face is just grotesque on his hands i noticed when i was looking at this it says on one hand it says hops on the other hand it says malt and he is holding it looks like some kind of axe it says 12 fluid ounces 355 milliliters if we look on the side it says alpha king is a bold yet balanced american pale ale with slight sweetness and aggressive citrus Hoppiness. It has the three Floyds skull, but this time he's got a bit of some kind of samurai headwear. This has the information on the deposit. On the other side is the government warning and their website, threefloyds.com. So I got to use my uh, hef hefty, handy dandy bottle opener here. So, Three Floyds, before I open this, I just want to kind of preface Three Floyds has released Alpha King, I believe, uh, Space Station Middle, Middle Finger, and Robert the Bruce as their bottled offerings, and the rest are all in cans. So you're going to have to need a, a bottle opener or some edge of, a, of some kind of um, you know, surface to crack. Maybe your teeth? I don't know. Maybe you're into that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But let's go ahead and smell the, smell the beer out of the bottle here. It has a nice hoppy smell to it. Uh, it's more of on the citrus end. And it has like a crisp, almost kind of uh, sweetness to it. So I'm going to use, I know this is a pale ale. I'm going to use a, an IPA glass because I want to just get the full effect of everything out of this. Let's go ahead and pour it. Coming out a dark kind of coppery color out of the bottle here. If we just kind of pour it in there a little bit more gingerly so it doesn't overflow all over the place. Uh, it looks like a very malty pale ale to me. It's got that dark uh, brown kind of color. This glass just pours the head like crazy, which, hey, that's cool with me. I don't mind. Uh, we're getting about three to four fingers, three and a half to four fingers ahead on this. As you can see, super compact, super thick looking head. Uh, the beer actually even came out a little kind of thick looking. I'm going to dare the fates and pour a little bit more into this. Get the head to come out of the top here. I mean, why the heck not, right? It's three. Not every day you get to review a Three Floyds beer on your channel, especially when they've just hit your state. Um, yeah, this is something that beer aficionados, beer geeks around Michigan have been waiting forever for, is them finally to come with the big mother load of all the all the beer, other than Gumball Head, as the, like I said, they had a little while ago. So yeah, the head is super foamy, looks really kind of dense on top of here, and. Uh, yeah, it's off-white. It's a bit of a tan kind of color. Looking at the color itself, to me, I see a nice kind of copper color. You might see a little bit more of a reddish hue to it, but it looks very copper to me. Uh, this head is insane. It's not going anywhere. Sniffing the, the top of the glass, sniffing that head. Yeah, getting basically the same thing I got out of the bottle is what I'm getting in the glass here. Nice citrus note to it. It has a malty kind of smell to it. It just smells... Amazing, to be honest, and uh, I'm ready to just try it out, foam and all, so cheers. Mm. 
mouthfeel is a little bit on that heavier end. So it's got a little bit of a thickness to it. It's a little bit, it's very close to medium, but for a pale ale or, you know, that kind of ilk, it has a little bit of a heavier kind of mouthfeel to it. It has almost a bit of a chewy kind of quality to it. Let's talk about the flavor. What I'm getting out of this is there is a very deep, rich kind of um, citrus note in there, but the flavor that I'm really picking up on the most is it being like a really malty pale ale. Very malty, very biting. It's got those kind of, when I think of malt, like Midwest style IPAs, I know this isn't an IPA, it's a pale ale, but it has, you know, I get those kind of cedary kind of sharp uh, notes to it, and I'm picking up a lot like that on this. It's got that really nice kind of sharpness to it. It's got a bit of a citrus note that really lies underneath all that malty sharpness. So, you know, while they say on the on the bottle here, what does it say? It says um, American Pale Ale with slight sweetness and aggressive citrus hoppiness. They ain't lying. It's got a lot of that citrus hoppiness, but it lies underneath the malt and it kind of, it tends to add to that sharpness of the malty flavor as well. I feel like you get that aggressive citrus hoppiness, but immediately on the tail, on the finish, on the aftertaste is where that maltiness kind of comes through. I feel like the maltiness, like the hoppiness plays like top billing because it is what you get up front, but the supporting actor, the supporting player in this beer is the maltiness. It's what lies underneath. It's what's providing all the backbone. It's what's providing the experience basically on this beer but you're getting a lot of that citrus up front. So that's, that's, I like that. And I like, I mean, I mean, I'm a sucker for multi, you know, Midwest style IPAs. Again, I know this isn't an IPA, but it has a lot of those same kind of qualities. It's a little bit uh, lighter than, you know, if this was like the IPA kind of equivalent, I would expect it maybe to be a little bit heavier, but it's got great flavor. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's lighter than an IPA, but you get, you get that citrus quality to it. You get that sharp, malty kind of flavor to it. It's not super complex in that respect. You know, you you basically just have those two flavors. They're kind of, you get a bit of a caramel in there as well. So you get a lot of that citrus note up front, that hoppiness, that bitterness up front, citrus bitterness. You get a lot of that malty underneath and in between. There's like this kind of caramel uh, flavor that is in there, you know, just kind of it treads the line between the two. It's like the bridge between the two. So you don't just go straight from um, hoppy citrus bitterness to maltiness. You got that caramel in between. So it, it lends to that very well. But yeah, that's what I like about this. Like I said, I'm a sucker for malty beers, like that sharp malty, you know, kind of sweetness that you get. That's something that I always look for in a beer or something I always kind of hope for in a beer, especially a pale ale and IPA. That's, if you can do that, I'll melt for those two things. But, you know, if that's not your bag, uh, if you were expecting Alpha King to be something different, um, I think you might be disappointed. But I think if you're going into it and you're like a, a multi IPA or a multi pale ill or just a malt lover like me, I think that Alpha King would be right up your alley. And I'm generally, I, I mean, I'm just genuinely, not generally, but genuinely excited to see that Three Floyds has finally made its, made, made its way to Michigan. And I'm looking forward to trying some of those year round beers that I haven't had yet. All right, friends, that's been Alpha King from Three Floyds Brewing Company. Have you gotten a chance to try this one yet? Or are there other Three Floyd beers that you're more interested in? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Munster, Indiana. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little giraffe therapy. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Cheers.